Hey guys, look at me faces back to another Stormworks video. Today, I'm going to be building a advanced cargo boat. A cargo ship? A cargo something. Uh, we're going to be building a cargo ship and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll be going into this workshop right here in the Creative Island. And uh, hopefully it'll be pretty good. I don't know what engine to use for it. Probably an aircraft engine. Because uh, that's maybe the easiest one to use. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it anyway. And we'll see what we end up with. Hey! Okay, so now we're in the editor, what I want to do is I want to make a cargo ship. Now, it doesn't want to be that big, or I don't want it to be that big. So, we're going to make the front of it first. The cargo hold's going to go in the back, and it's not actually going to have a crane on it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, first off, we're going to go ahead and edit and add the x-axis to the, um, the building. Uh, this basically just makes it way easier, so we'll go ahead and put it on there. There we go, cool. Then we'll add it and make it very big. So this is going to be the front of the boat. Um, and basically the way I like to do the front of the boat is I like to make a big square of how long I want the boat to actually be. Oh god, it lags very much when you do that. Um, how big I want the boat to actually be. So say we bring this from here, we bring it this way a little bit. We can go out to like, I don't know, somewhere like there. Alright, let's say there. We'll bring this this way, we'll go ahead and attach it right there. And basically we'll work from the front, so we'll delete a bunch of these. Hold on, there we go. Bam! Okay, so we got one left. There we go, we'll go down like three or something. There we go, two, there we go, good. Uh, and basically it gets more and more as we go along. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, six. We'll go ahead and delete that one. Then the next one is, I don't want to delete that. I don't want to delete that right there. Um, but basically this is actually going to be too pointy. So I want it to be less than that. Let's go with like three. And then we'll go with three again, and then three again, and then three again. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. There we go. Three, then three, then three. Okay. Uh, and this is going to be like, I don't know. I'm not very good at making the front of these boats, or the fronts of these boats. Um, but it should be okay to do it this way, the way I'm doing it right now. There we go. It might look a little bit weird to begin with, but that's fine. There we go. Bam. And then we go backwards a little bit more. Bam. And then we go backwards. There we go. Uh, and I want it to be quite fat, because it gives it more stability when it's in the water. Um, yeah, it's a little bit better. There we go. Bam. And I want it to be as wide as I've made this. This bit right here. So we'll make it go all the way back. There we go. All the way back. And we'll make it go back down to there. There we go. So that's the front of my boat. Sort of. Uh, so that's a sort of, because we need to put these things in. Uh, basically, we want it to go vert vertical. Vertical. Uh, and that seems like a good idea to me. So we'll go ahead and put all of our building blocks right there. We'll go ahead and turn this off, and we'll start building up. So, we'll go here, we need to flip it upside down, uh, real quick, there we go. And basically you just drag it into the air and everything should be good, there we go. Um, right, okay, and then you delete the top bit, because the top bit's always not not the uh, pyramid, it's always the inverse pyramid. Uh, so, it looks a little bit strange when you do that, but there you go, bam. Uh, we want it to all pretty much be the same height, so we'll go ahead and try and make it the same height, like so. There we go, delete the top one, as always, there we go. Uh, and basically, I'm going to do the same thing for pretty much every little piece here. Um, right. Okay. Uh, and basically, um, we're going to make the hull before we make anything else. Because it's sort of the bit that um, needs the most attention, I would say. Uh, so that it, it, your boat actually floats. Otherwise, you might have a few issues down the line, I guess. Uh, there we go. We'll delete a bunch of these afterwards. We just need to delete the top bit, actually. Uh, but that's completely fine. There we go. We'll delete that. There we go. And we'll flip it upside down. Oh, wow. There we go. And boop. And... Oh, no. I keep pressing the wrong bit. Literally, every time I play this game, um, the rotation blocks always rotate in the wrong direction, I swear. Literally every... T there, look. What am I doing? All right, delete it. One more time. If it, if it happens again, I'm going to cry. There we go. Bam. Okay, and bam. Okay, I kind of feel like I've went up a little bit, but that's okay. Because uh, we can delete a bunch of it, and we can come back and fix that. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, all right. The front of this boat's going to be very stocky. Jeez Louise. All right, cool. We're going to delete these ones, and we're going to have pretty much a flat face. So, there is no way, I don't think yet, of making these actually work properly. Being able to drag these up. So, we're going to have to just do it like, uh, like how I'm doing it right now. Uh, and fix it together that way. Uh, like so. There we go. Bam. And bam. And I think that's fine. I think we're deleting all the tops of these anyway. Um, like this. There we go. Then everything should be the same height. Alright. Cool. Good. No wait. We need to delete this one as well. 
Yes. Yeah. There we go. Bam. Everything's deleted. All right. That's fantastic. So that's the front of our boat. It is actually going to be a very big boat. Um, I didn't realize. Uh, but we basically just need to fill in all of these holes now. So um, it's going to be interesting. We're going to do this. There we go. Then we're going to do this. Okay. You kind of want to fill it in with like three, I believe. Three blocks. Uh, so it doesn't come out the front. Uh, I think three blocks is enough. So you go on this one and you go three. There we go. And then you fill in that one. There we go. Okay. Let's try again. Three. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Three works. Otherwise, sometimes the blocks actually go on the front and that's not what you want. Um, so yeah, there you go. Bam. I am in mirrored mode though. So everything should be going pretty well for me. Pretty okay. There we go. And pretty okay. There we go. Good. So all of these are actually different on the inside, but as long as they don't poke through to the outside, we're completely fine. Um, right. Okay. Let's keep this going. There we go. Bam. And bam. And bam. Okay, does that work? Oh no, look, one got through. That's really annoying. Um, I don't really know what color to paint this afterwards either, so if you guys know any colors, uh, what, what colors you want it to be, uh, then let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, see, they're gonna poke out. It's really annoying, that, actually. Um, I wish there was easier ways to fill this, you know? But, uh, there, I don't... Uh, maybe there is. Maybe there is, but still. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, I keep pressing that button instead of this. Are we mirrored? Or are we not mirrored? We are mirrored. All right, good. Bam. So if you guys want a specific color, let me know and I'll try and do that in the next video. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all these gaps real quick. Um, and then I'll get back to you and then we'll build the rest of the boat, hopefully. The rest of the hull, at least. Okay, so now that we've actually done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the engine in the front of this boat. Now, that's kind of a weird thing to do, I would assume, so um, don't, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, we're also going to cover in this front bit as well. Uh, I did get a little bit lazy with attaching all of this front bit together, but you know, it works uh, the way I've done it, so there you go. We'll go ahead and plumb all of this together, and everything should be good. Now, I don't know everything about shipbuilding in this game. In fact, I know very little. I know very little about building in this game. Um, but basically, I know the basics, and hopefully I'll be able to get a boat moving. Uh, that's exactly what I want to do, at least. Uh, so that's exactly what I am going to do. We're going to go ahead and get rid of these real quick. There we go. Um, I still need a color for this, so if you guys have any colors that you want to see, then let me know in the comments down below. But basically, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start on the, um, the end. I mean, we should really not start on the engine yet. Um, but the engine's going to go in this big room right here, okay? So that's going to be the engine room. We're going to then block off the engine room from everything else, just for now. And we're going to have the rest of the ship. So, I mean, if I could, maybe it's a good idea to turn this around, like copy it and put it on the back as well. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go backwards a hell of a lot. There we go. And this is going to be our cargo bay. So that's our cargo bay area right there. It's just a guesstimate, but for now, that should be fine. All right, cool. Then, after that, we're going to go backwards a little bit more. And this is going to be the back of the ship, which is what, the bow or the stern? The bow? I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't use ship terminology that I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go. All right, cool. We're going to fill in the floor here. Um, this is going to be useful space. This is going to be the cargo bay right here. I didn't want to build the ship this big, but apparently... Um, apparently maybe I did, because <laughs> I've just done it. Anyway, um, right, okay, we're going to fill all of this together, and we're going to try and make it look good. Also, one thing that I like to do is I like to remove the bottom layer of these bricks and replace them with wedges. It makes it look way better. It makes it look way better. So we put a wedge in there, we flip it upside down, there we go, and we bring it all the way across, and it should look way nicer than it, it did before. Um, and hopefully this ship will actually float when it's ready. All right, cool. So... I want the back end to look good. And how do we make the back end look good? We make it look good by putting big stuff on it, like this. There we go, we'll do that. And uh, you basically want these to come on the back as well. So we'll go ahead and do this all the way up to the top. And instead of leaving like a three gap in between, um, we'll only go like one backwards and then we'll do it again. You know what I mean? So we'll go one backwards, 
and then we'll put another one of these on. Uh, like this. There we go. Uh, and that should work pretty well, I suppose. Um, and it'll slowly sort of close the gap and work that way. So, let's go ahead and time lapse that bit as well. Right, okay, so that's the back finish like that. I don't know whether you guys like that, uh, the way that I've done that. I like them to be more flat, but maybe we can put the flat bit on top of this. Uh, so basically what I mean is, we'll go from these corners and we'll turn them like this. Hold on, I'll show you. We'll turn them like, like this, and we'll go up, like this. And this is where the back will be. Uh, I don't know whether you guys want to see it like that or not, but um, that's kind of where I want the bridge to be, like right at the back or right at the front. Either doesn't matter to me. Uh, it seems like a good idea, so we'll go ahead and fill this in like this. There we go, and this will be the end of the whole video, I think. There we go, we'll go ahead and fill this in. I don't know whether that's, like, too tall either. Um, but to me, that seems... That actually seems quite good, I think. I don't know, do you guys like that? I think I like that. Alright, hold on, we'll flip this up, we'll do that, there we go. And we'll fill in this little area here. And that's pretty much where it'll stop. So that's gonna be, like, the, um... Or maybe we can make it a lot bigger than I thought that I was going to build it. So if I move this down... Whoa! If I move this down real quick... Oh, wow, we got loads of room! Okay, well, if I make like a second story on this thing and make it just as long, what do you guys say to that? I don't know. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the hole finished. Um, I know it's not finished, but you know. Uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and continue with whatever your suggestions are in the comments down below. So, at the minute, we've got this. It could either be the bridge already, so with like another floor on the top, will be the bridge. Or, or the superstructure, that's what that bit would be. Um, or we carry on all of it upwards, and we put the engine in this room, and then we cover this, and then we'll have like a massive, we'll have a massive door that opens um, into big, like a massive cargo bay. I don't know whether you guys want to see that either, but if you do, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, for now, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.